Hello, hello, I see everybody joining in. TC Fit trainer Michelle here with you. Kendall is out on vacation this week, spending uh, some time at Disney with her family. So uh, she's getting her steps in. We're gonna do a little strength class today, 25 minutes. You're gonna want a heavier set of dumbbell for your legs. So think things like squats and Romanian deadlifts, probably even as much as 15 or up to 20 pounds for my advanced exercisers. And then a lighter set of weights for towards the end of class. We'll do some lateral raises, that type of motion. Let's get started today with just some shoulder rolls. I'm rolling the shoulders forward. That feels natural because I've been sitting at that computer all hunched over all morning. So I'm glad to be with here with you today moving. Let's reverse. Reversing those shoulder rolls. You may even choose to take it into a back stroke. It's up to you. I'm gonna give you lots of modifications today. So always adjusting to what your body needs, what your space needs. One more each side, then we're going diagonal, opposite arm and leg, gentle extension, reaching back behind. Plus this takes a little balance, engaging the abdominal muscles. Working at your own pace. Give me four more. And arms come forward. We rotate both to the one side, back to center and out to the other side. Rotation here, nice and gentle. You may feel a little switch through that hip. Pull the heel up off the floor. Two more. And we bring it back to center. Big hip circles. Give me three. Same leg, switch direction. Three. Switch legs. Oh, they're testing my balance. Three. Big circles, switch direction. Step wide, a little side to side shift. Pushing the hips back, keeping those knees behind the toes. It's a side lunge. Here's four, three, two. Pause in the middle. We bring it down low into our squat. Reach it up overhead, working at your own pace. Drop those hips low, reach high. Think about your breath here. Exhale to the top. Two more. Last one. Release the arms, shake it out, grab your heavy weights. We are starting with legs today. This is a two minute leg set followed by a one minute upper body set. And we're gonna only do each of these exercises one time. So the first half of our workout, two minute legs, one minute arms, new exercise every time. We're starting with squats. Those weights are right at the shoulders. It's low, two, press, two. So it's low with the hips sliding back, press with the feet pushing into the floor. Don't forget about your breath. Exhale to the top. Two minute set, so if this starts out feeling a little bit uh, moderate, that's okay. But if it's easy, it's time to grab some heavier weights. So my advanced exercisers, you have an option of taking this to a pistol squat, one leg out in front, squatting it back. If you're doing those pistol squats, six on one side, then six repetitions on the other side. My intermediate exercisers, you are sticking with the double leg squat. You have the option to drop it back and give it a little pulse. Four pulses, and then take it to the top. So again, my uh, intermediate exercises are adding in the pulse and squat. My beginners, you may feel like you need to take this to a march. That's okay. We all have 45 seconds remaining. We're all working at our own pace. 
as far as which exercise is the best for us. On that scale of one to 10, as far as effort, you should be at a seven, if not an eight. We're not over the top. We've got lots of class to go, but I want you to keep moving. We are down to our last 10 seconds. Push through those legs, ask them to work harder than they're used to. Biceps are coming up next. Everybody returns to the top, hammer curls, so palms face in, both arms go to shoulders and hips. Do not let the music uh, push you fast. We are in control, one minute here. My advanced exercisers, you're gonna add a shoulder press. It's curl, press. My beginner exercisers, if this gets to be too much, we alternate, giving those muscles just a little break there. Notice I did not tell you to change the weights. We were using those heavy weights for our legs. We're using those heavy weights for our upper body, for our arms, but the duration is less. Should be about four more repetitions here, and then we're returning to legs. New exercise coming up in 10 seconds. Reverse lunge. So holding the uh, weights right at the hips, we're gonna take the left leg, tap back, and bring it to the top. We're staying on the left leg movement. Eyes are tall, shoulders are tall. My advanced exercisers, you're gonna add a curl. You're gonna keep those biceps going. My beginning exercisers, if you need a break at any point, you step out wide and take it into your hip slide to side to side. This is a two minute set. We're doing one minute with the left leg moving. And then we'll switch. I'll tell you when, don't do it quite yet. Five, four, Three, two, same leg or same exercise, switch sides, that reverse lunge. So my intermediate exercisers are focusing on that lunge movement. My advanced exercisers are adding in the curls. My beginners, if you need that break, take it if you need it. We're off to a good start. I like it. Smiles are going today. You're doing great. Push through. I promise. I have a clock running in front of me. I'm not asking you to do more than one minute on this leg. That second leg is always a challenge. So good. 10 seconds. Push it out. Work a little harder than you're used to. Two more reps. Upper body, bent row. That means we hinge from the hips, palms face in. We squeeze the shoulder blades together and a slow release. Think lift, squeeze, slow, release. That squeeze is happening between the shoulder blades. It's happening towards the middle of your back. No shoulder shrugs here. We're not taking those ears up to, or the shoulders up to the ears. We're focusing on that mid posterior movement. My advanced exercisers can take the elbows out wide. No neck tension. We're halfway through this set. Halfway through this exercise, remember no repeats today, always something new. My beginning exercisers, if you need to take a break at the top or alternate the row, go ahead and do that. Four, three, two, we all bring it to the top. 
We're into our Romanian deadlift. Double leg to start. Those weights slide down towards the knees. The hips slide back. And we bring it to the top. Get that squeeze in the glutes. No back tension here. This is all about the hamstrings. My advanced exercisers, you're gonna take this to single leg. Because this is a two minute set, you should be able to get eight to 10 repetitions on each leg. None of us are moving fast. It's control. Breaking down that muscle fiber so it can rebuild better and stronger. My beginner exercisers, if the double leg Romanian deadlift gets to be too much, pause and take it into an upright row. Give the legs a little break. My advanced exercisers, if you're on single leg, we just passed the halfway mark, so you should be switching it up if you have not already. Good. Push, 30 seconds. Keep it going. We're on five on our countdown. That's five repetitions. Here's four. I'm trying to get you to slow it down. Two more. Last Romanian deadlift. Set one weight down. Everybody comes to the top with one weight. This is one minute wood chops. We're going shoulder to knee. Make sure you bend at those knees. We're going five, four, three, two. Switch sides. Count them out. So everybody's working at a different pace. Five, then switch sides. We're going to keep that pattern for the one minute. Yes, this should be bringing your heart rate up. It's a full body exercise. Halfway. You've got this, push through. This is the peak of our workout today. Don't give up, 10 more seconds. We take a water break, coming up in five. Last repetition, perfect, set that weight down, walk it off, keep the body moving, grab some water. We have 45 seconds before we move to our, the second half of our workout. Second half of our workout is going to start with body weight and end with the light dumbbells. And actually, I might have just lied to you. Let's switch that up. It's gonna start with the light dumbbells and end with our body weight. Light dumbbells. Okay. Light dumbbells, something under five pounds. You bring your body back to center. If you're still feeling like that heart rate's up, keep the legs moving for me. If you're feeling ready for that single leg balance, we're gonna stand on the left leg. Find that balance. If you need the right toes on the floor for a kickstand, go ahead and keep it there. Palms are forward lateral raise. So yes, we see those weights lifting, but the shoulders stay low. You're doing great. Each of these exercises, one minute. We're passing the halfway mark. If you get to here and you want to take it to a little pulse, you can do that. Find that breath. 15 seconds. Don't give up. Deltoids can do the work. Three, two, and release. We're gonna do a standing crunch. Arms come up overhead. We alternate that knee drive as we squeeze in. One minute here. This is not fast. This is control. 
I want it to take at least two to three seconds per crunch. So if you're counting your repetitions, the one minute will only give us a maximum of 30 crunches here. So slow it down. If you challenged your biceps today, you should feel them working a little bit right now, even with these light dumbbells. Squeeze those core muscles, squeeze that abdominal wall. Three, two, one, and release. We have our single leg balance on the right leg. Find that balance. Choose what works best for you. Abs are drawn in. Lateral raise. We did palms in last time. We're going to go palms down. So they come in towards the thighs. Those shoulders lift up. Excuse me. I'm going to rephrase that. The arms lift. The shoulders stay low. The deltoids are doing the work for you. We're already passing the halfway mark on this balance. My advanced exercisers, take it to the top and give it a little pulse. 20 seconds. Nearly there. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We are going to calf raises, palms, or excuse me, toes, not palms, are forward. I want you to lift both legs, both heels. Counting it out, we're going to go eight. There's seven. Four. Same exercise, toes go wide. Eight more here. You have these little dumbbells. If you're still feeling like you want to push those deltoids, lift and hold. But our focus is on our, our calves. Toes in, last eight. You're doing great, push it out. Last weighted workout today, we're gonna move to the floor with our inchworms. So go ahead and set the light weights down. Move to the top of your mat. Inchworms. We start at the top, we hinge it forward. The hands walk out to our push-up, and then they walk it all the way back to our low squat to the top. Full body movement, you're in control. Again, not fast. This is about control. Every muscle working for you. If you're like Michelle, the inchworms are not tough enough for me. Next time you get to the floor, take it to your push-ups. We have 40 seconds remaining, so you're either inchworming or push-ups. If your legs, if you challenged your legs today, you'll feel these deep squats. It's also a core-based workout. And if you challenged your deltoids, these shoulders with the light weights, you'll feel it. Everybody takes this next repetition to the floor. And we stay on the floor, neck coming up next, side plank. So we let everybody get to this plank position, then rotate. You can stay on the hand or the wrist, or you can take this down to the elbow. My beginning exercisers may choose to drop one knee or both knees. My advanced exercisers may choose to add a dip, a hip dip. They get close to the floor, but they never rest. We're going 30 more seconds on this side. Full body workout today. One more minute remaining, and then we cool down. Doing great. Push it through. Five, four, three, two. Side
side, plank on the other side. Rotate however it feels best for you. Wrist, hand, or elbow. Either way, I like the top hand lifted. It's gonna remind you to get this nice big arch. My beginning exercise, there's not take it down to the knee. And we're dipping the hip if we want that advanced work. Already passing the halfway mark on this side. 30 seconds. Don't give up. Reward coming in 20 seconds. Get that oxygen pressing out like you're blowing out the candles. We're on our last five, four, three, two, one. Release, roll it to hands and knees. Take that yoga cat cow, slow, controlled. Eyes come up, belly drops down. And then reverse, back arches, chin, chin tucks. Slow this down. I want you to think about the breathing. I want you to give yourself that positive reinforcement. You did this today. Your body took the challenge. Now we're gonna give it a little reward, a little stretch, a little mobility. Go ahead and walk the hands back. Take this into your low leap frog. So eyes are coming up. You're making sure you feel comfortable. You're pressing your heels to the floor. When you're ready for it, slow to stand. So we lead with the tailbone, legs extend. You get that real gentle hamstring stretch. We roll through the low back, the mid back, the shoulders. We come all the way up to standing. Big, wide stance here. Knees are soft. A little shift side to side. Again, pushing the hips back. We're not letting the knees slide forward. It's that lateral lunge. We did this earlier when we warmed up today. Let's hold on the right side, feeling that stretch through the medial left those adductors. With your next exhale, we shift that stretch to the opposite side. And we pull everything up to the top. I'm gonna shift so my left heel presses to the floor. I really wanna press that left heel down, feel that calf stretch. Option here to then tuck the tailbone, feel that back leg, that hip flexor. Option to reach up to take that hip flexor into the iliopsoas, so even up into that abdominal wall. Choose what works best for you here, lots of points of potential tension, that muscle tightness. With your next exhale, we release. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So I'm stepping my right foot back, pressing that right heel to the floor. Trying to make sure that heel, uh, it presses out or it keeps my feet parallel. That's another way of looking at that. Option to tuck that tailbone feeling that stretch through the upper quads. Option to reach up on that stretching side. Feel that stretch come up into that abdominal wall. With your next exhale, we release. Chest opener with hands low. So I'm tucking my chin, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. I'm feeling this lengthening across the anterior shoulders. You're welcome to hang out here or if you're ready for it, left arm crosses palm up. I'm giving myself a little pressure on that upper arm so I can feel the stretch to the back side of the shoulder. Same stretch on the other side. And release, we finish with our three squat and reach. We drop down, inhale, exhale all the way up. Can you touch the ceiling? 
two, and three, our final one, all the way up to the top. Thank you so much for letting me join you today. Kendall will be back next week. If you are looking for classes this week, make sure you check that MindBody app because tomorrow you'll see Kiki, that's normal. Wednesday, you will see Matt. You need to register for a treadmill if you're seeing Matt on Wednesday or Thursday at JFB. Core and stretch here on Thursday. And then just to really mix it all up, next week is Wellness Week. Classes will be at noon. Let us know if you have any questions or check it out on the MindBody app. See you later.